Hi guys, welcome back. It's a very exciting day because my Yes Style order came in. <laughs> it was so hard to be patient for this order. I was stalking my tracking order and I know you guys have been incredibly patient as well. So I'm just gonna get right into it. But before we do, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. If you joined me in part one where I shopped for all of these products, you know I grabbed things for eyes, lips, and cheeks. I wanted to keep complexion for a future series like this, which I'm planning on doing in a couple months. So if there's anything specific that you wanna see me try, leave it in the comments down below and I'll add it to my list. But getting into the products I did purchase, I purchased quite a few for each category. So I'm going to try my best to try them all on and then commit to one after I try them all out. So we'll see, so we'll see. I'm just, I'm really frazzle-brained because I'm just so excited to get into here. It feels like the first time I ever stepped into a Sephora. There's just so many brands, so many formulas and excitement to try. So let's start off with blush. I purchased quite a few. Uh, the first one here is this Lily by Red Love Beam Cheek Balm in the shade 02. It's such a freaking cute package. The heart packaging is what pulled me in for sure. Oh, and I got nails. Hold on a second. I got my nails done for the first time in like six years. Anyways, let's try this out. I'm gonna try this blush on this side. We'll see, it looks like very, very, very cool. So we'll see if it kind of like adjusts to my skin tone here once it's blended out, or if it's going to look a little chalky, which I kind of fear it might. It's a little bit too late for me, I think. Maybe one I'll have to revisit in the winter, but the formula felt really nice. Now that I'm really feeling this formula on the back of my hand, it feels very reminiscent of the About Face Cheek Freak Blush Balms, but just a bit more pigmented and opaque in pigment. It's not as sheer as those go. Pretty cute. I wish I got a, maybe the other color I was looking at. I feel like this one is just a little too light for my skin tone. And I have a feeling I'm gonna feel the exact same way about this one. This is the About Tone blush in the shade 02 as well. Uh, I swatched this on my hand right when I got the order and I was like, oh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna put a few dots right here and I'll just blend it out with my finger. I can see a hint, which I know they're not all about like crazy pigment. I know a lot of like their eyeshadows can be on the sheer side, so I wonder if that applies for blushes as well. Um, but I think that's a little bit too pale. But the texture is really nice. It has kind of like a, a powdery feel in the mix. Like it feels very lightweight and silky when I go like this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to tap away these blushes to try on the other two. So these ones are the Juicy Pang Jelly Blushers. I have Grape and Fig. And I feel like they're going to be, yeah, they look exactly like the MAC So Soft blushes, but it looks like it has a little bit more of an intense pearl in here. So I wonder if they're going to be glowier than the Glow Play. So this is the shade Grape. It looks grape to me. And then this is the shade Fig, which is a really nice color. And because I have a lot of pink items here, I'm definitely drawn to pinks lately. <laughs> I'm going to use this shade right here. Yeah, this is exactly, exactly like the MAC So Soft blushes. It's picking up with a brush the exact same way too. Ooh, and that actually shows up quite nicely on my cheek. I think I'm going to commit to this one on both sides. <laughs> It's really cute. Yeah, so if you love the MAC So Soft blushes, I think you would like these just as much or even more because they are a lot more affordable. I think these are under $10. I'm really, really excited about these ones. Very, very much so. I ended up grabbing one highlighter and it's by the same brand, Lily by Red. This is the Glow Veil in the shade 02. Oh my goodness. This one is a little pearly heart. <laughs> this is so cute. The little overlay says Lily Cheeky Sassy. I want my cheeks to be Lily Cheeky Sassy. So let's see how this swatches. Oh, it's a very cool pink highlighter. Very fun. I see myself using this on my eyes as well. I'm gonna use my favorite highlighting brush, my Moda Pro Glow. If you're wondering what this is, it's a freaking hickey. <laughs> my boyfriend was giving me a goodbye kiss and it left that. I was like, how freaking sensitive is my skin? So I tried everything to cover it, but it's, it's a, 
it's resilient. It's my first hickey I've ever gotten and it's on my freaking forehead at 26 years old. It's like a very creamy formula and what's really nice about it is that it has a very sheer look to it. So when you're looking straight, there's no like undercast at all. But when you turn your head, you can see a little flash of like a violet pink. It's kind of cute, especially layered on top of this grape blush I used. Just by the looks of the swatch, I thought it was going to be a lot more intense, but I'm not mad at this at all. I think I would have been disappointed if it looked like this on my actual cheeks. And I'm so curious to see what it would look like on the eyes. I'll have to try that another day because I have a lot of eye stuff, which we'll get into right now. I grabbed a lot of things for eyes and lips, like holy moly. So I grabbed two Romand eyeshadow palettes. I think this is like the Milk Grocery Edition eyeshadow palette, which looks so cute. Very, very enticed by this one. This shade right here looks so cool. And then I also have the Light and Glitter Garden palette, which I see being used all the time. <laughs> It looks so fun. I haven't swatched any of these because I wanted to keep the excitement for this video, I guess. I unfortunately had to take a phone call, so I kind of created this as I was on the call. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll catch you guys up. I don't think I'm done with it yet, but it's turning out really fun. I have been layering all of the glitters. So I'm first taking the Gel Presso pencil liner and I'm going to create a normal wing on the upper lash. And I'm going to take a nice little angled brush. This is a BK Beauty 208. Kind of blend and manipulate this into the shape I want. I think I left this poor thing with the cap off for too long. I just have to take the dried layer off the pencil first. <laughs> it's a really nice eyeliner pencil. I like it. It's very blendable, but it sets down. And then I'm going to put some in my inner corner to create an extended inner corner. I'm also going to take it right there. And then I'm going to draw a line like so. I'm going to go straight out to create kind of like a double wing effect to make my eyes look a bit bigger, but I'm not going to connect it this time around. I'm just gonna leave the line chilling down here. I'm kind of combining a lot of Asian beauty techniques, some Korean, some Chinese. Um, I'm just kind of winging it. And then I'm taking this contoury color from that Romance palette, this one right here, to kind of contour my eye bag right here. And then switching over to another angled brush, I'm going to take the darkest shade from this palette and I'm going to go over my eyeliner here just to make it look more smooth and smoky. And it's also going to make it look more opaque. Same with the lower lash detail here. It got really thick in here, but I'm going to try to fix that in a bit. And if I can't, then I think the glitter will cover it. But now I'm going to do some of this crease work up here. And I'm starting with this little refer brush. It's an 03. And I'm taking this, uh, what did I take first? I took this shade right here, right next to the dark one. And I kind of did a half crescent. I wanted the concentration of this to be kind of more in the center of the eye. And I also made sure it was a line, but I also wanted it to be a blended line, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I took that same angled brush, that little, little BK Beauty one, and I grabbed some of this color right here, the second darkest. And then I traced a line under that to get kind of a cut crease effect. And if it's not super sharp yet, that's okay because we're going to sharpen it up even further. Then I'm taking that darkest one again with the tip of this brush to do the same thing. Now I'm grabbing my Slick Waterline Eye Pencil from Melt Cosmetics and I'm going to kind of cut the crease out with this. And I'll blend this with a clean, kind of flat concealer brush. This is a Glisten brush. I don't know what it is, the 
letter is rubbed off. And then you can go back in and kind of sharpen it up even easier. Because then you have kind of like a ledge to work off of. And then I'm going to take that same slick waterline eye pencil to kind of try to fix this thick part. And I also used it to brighten right in here a little bit. Now we're gonna get into the shimmers and the glitters and all of that. So I'm going to use this sheen right here as kind of like the base of the glitter. It's a really pretty peachy pink reflect. So I'm going to take this BK Beauty 205 brush and dampen it with a setting spray. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It was just the closest one I could grab. Then I'm going to dip right into that shadow and I'm going to first bring it in the center of the eye such a pretty color and then I'm going to dab on the inner and then on the outer as well and then with my finger I took this really fun shade right here it's kind of like a chunkier version of the one I just went in with really pretty silvery pink color and I went right down the center with this while my lid is still wet Now I'm going to grab my eye switch from 3CE. I have the shade Petal, and I'm going to use this right under this cut crease we created. This one has some really pretty peachy glitters, and I feel like it complements that base shimmer we used all over my lid. And it adds like a little, a little something different. And then I also used it right on my lash line. I feel like I'm going to purchase more of these because these are so fun. I like the multitude of glitters inside and it applies pretty well too. And then I also put that right here. There we go, there's some chunkier pieces. Really, really fun. And I was like, you know what? I don't think that's enough glitter. And I wanted to dip into this palette here a little bit. So I took this shade right here and I put that in my inner corner with a brush. I just kind of dipped into it and it's fun. It has kind of like a, a base to it so it grips onto a brush. It's not just like floaty glitter in here. So it's going to actually adhere really nicely. And I put that right in the inner corner. And then I use this one which has the chunkiest glitter of the palette. Just a little on my fingertip. And I put that right in the center of my lid. Wow, it's so fun. And this has all kinds of colors in it. It's super rainbow, super chunky glitter, which I don't play with that often. I kind of feel like I'm done. <laughs> I think I wanna move on to mascara. I purchased three mascaras. I brought two of these Romand ones. These are the All Fix mascaras. I got the shades Long Ash and Long Hazel. And then I also got the Clio Kill Lash, the Super Proof Mascara, the Volume Curling version. Um, I think I'm gonna try this one because I feel like it suits the tones of the eyes. This is the shade Long Ash. That's such a cool shade. Ooh, 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 ooh. Both of these colors look stunning. So this is the brown one and the gray one. How cool is that? And I love the wand, it's such a nice shape. I feel like this is gonna be great at getting every single lash. I am in love with this mascara wand. It is so intuitive. Oops, I'm getting it all over. Damn it. <laughs> and this is even more amazing for lower lashes. This shape of wand is perfection. And this color is really cool too. It suits this eye look perfectly. It still adds some volume and some attention to the lashes, but it's just a little bit softer than black. It's not taking away from the eye look, you know? It's really nice. So here are the eyes with the mascara on. Yeah, mascara definitely transformed this look. It looks so good. Now I'm going to stack on some lashes. I think I'm going to take some of these bigger clumps. I might take a large, a medium, and a small, and then I might fill in some other gaps if I feel like there are any with these single ones. Let's see what happens. 
I might get really, really quiet here because sometimes putting on little clumps of eyelashes like this really frustrates me. <laughs> and I'm doing the method where you stick them underneath of your lashes. And I'm not using my normal Falscara glue to do this, which works a lot better. I'm using my duo glue because my Falscara glue is black. But here are the eyes all finished. I love them. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And although the lashes were a pain in the butt, I think it made this eye look that much better. And lips is where I went the hardest. I purchased a lot here. So I have some from Romand, Cleo, and Amuse. So I'm gonna swatch them all on my arm so we can see what they look like. Um, and then I'll pick one because these all stain. I did wear one of them yesterday and it was so nice. I wore the shade Nucademia. Such a gorgeous nude. Okay, let's swatch them. I'm going to start with the ones from Amuse. So this one here is Breeze. Why was that so bad? Okay, there, I gotta go that way. Breeze. This next one is Rose Dew. This one is Dew Basunga. And this last one is Pleasing. I got four shades in this formula. Now we'll look at the ones I got from Clio. This one's 04 Silent Wine. And this one is Evening Pale. This next one is a Romand Glasting Water Tint in the shade Rose Stream. Oh, it has a different kind of applicator, hold on. These next two are Juicy Lasting Tints from Romand. And this shade is Fig Fig. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. And this is Nucadamia. Gorgeous. I didn't really leave room for the last two, but here we go. And these last two are Dewyful Water Tints. This is If Rose. And this shade is Taffy. And here are all of the lip colors I picked. Some really, really nice tones in here. There's definitely a tone that I'm very drawn to at the moment, but these all look gorgeous. And this is what they stain like. So their stains are very, very powerful. Very nice. I would have loved to do like a swatch montage of all of these, but since they all stain, they'll just end up looking very similar to one another since they'll all start getting muddled together. So I think the shade Taffy would be really cute, especially because it kind of matches the cheek color and some highlights in the eyes. But I was also really eyeing the shade Rose Dew from the Amuse. Oh. I just, all of them are so nice. I think Fig Fig really stuck out to me out of those swatches. I think these are the products I'm most excited for out of everything I purchased. The lips are definitely a highlight for me. What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna do maybe a little mixy mix of both. Let's do this shade all over my lips and then I might add some of this maybe in the center. That could be fun. That might be a little bit a little bit red for this look i feel like it's deterring from everything else i'm actually just gonna wipe that off but now i'm gonna just use taffy on its own from romand which is quite vibrant i think i screwed up by putting that that other shade on first oh yeah that doesn't really suit the vibe does it I don't know if any of these will really suit the vibe. I'm just gonna try on this Glasting Water Tint and Rose Stream from Romand. Someone said that these are very similar to the Rare Beauty lip oils. And yeah, I can feel it. Very, very similar feel. This one just feels maybe a little bit more watery, but very, very similar effect. And the last one I'm gonna try is Nucadamia from Romand. It kind of just looks like the same color because it's my lips are so beyond stained now. Unfortunately, I don't have the perfect lip combo for this look. And here is the finished makeup look. I am in love with this blush and the eye combo. The lips on their own, so nice. I am thrilled for the lip products. All in all, I feel like I picked some really, really good things. The only things that I don't see myself really using 
are these two blushes. I think these are just a little too, too pale for my skin tone and that's okay. When I was shopping for these, I knew I should have gone for the darker colors but curiosity got the best of me. And I wanted a little cute pink heart in my collection. And maybe if I layer some other things, maybe I'll be able to make them work. But I think those are the only two failed products for me. I feel the most excited for the 3CE eye switch. Love this, such an easy way to throw on some glitter. I can't tell you how excited I am for all of these lip products. This is what I feel most excited for, for sure, leaving this video. I think these are going to be on constant rotation and I feel like I want to explore even more. I feel very impressed by the Romand products. I think the Juicy Lasting Tints are going to be my favorite formula out of these just because of the way they feel and how they wore. I wore this shade all day yesterday and it was beyond impressive. The lip products feel super on trend, but even more innovative from what we've been seeing from the latest innovations in Western beauty. I feel like these are ahead of everything else and they're a lot more affordable, which is so nice to see. I'm also very impressed by these blushes. If you love the Glow Play blushes from MAC, you're going to adore these. I love those cloudy feeling products. I'm very happy with my eyeshadow palettes I purchased. Although this gives kind of like a softer wash to the eye, I feel like I came out of this video with something very impactful. So I think this video was a complete success and I'm so excited to film another series like this in the near future. I feel like a whole new world opened up for me. <laughs> I truly do. But I think that's going to be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll have everything linked and listed in the description box so you can check that out if you'd like and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!